and we're recording. So mm-hmm. I'm Ashman. I'm, I'm with. Yep, I, I'm with Pixel. <laughs> that was smooth. smooth. I've already thrown you off. And we're just watching Pixel going to edit his uh, new avatar. I am no professional when it comes to Photoshop or anything like that, as, uh, as evidenced by the fact that to make sure the outline reaches my very exacting standards, I am manually erasing it rather than using whatever functions are available to me to help the en- the edges not get caught up with the auto select. At the same time, I am playing around with OBS. You might notice, well, Cookzel can't see this, but I have two images, two logos of my head drawing thing. One using image reaction plugin in OBS, which shows a, a little anime girl spinning her fingers around. <laughs> and another one. Oh, the, the uh, is it that Chinibio thing? Yeah. And another one is. Um, the one we had before where it's um the lo- the icon, the picture kind of changes size as a talk. So I'm going to add in another one. I'm going to add an image in for Kuxo. At Kuxo. Hello. Oh, this. fuck. There we go. Oh, wow. Shit, you are massive. Go back. Thank God for, thank God for undo. Can make you uh, about the same size as my friend here. Mm -hmm. That'll do. Right, so now I have a little. I have an avatar representing Cookso. Yourself? Oh, me. Excellent. And I've got my head. And. Yeah, I mean, you're talking about your. um, my Vodafone thing with a yeah. Vodafone, so I think yeah, um, I don't, don't mind if... talking about this. I don't mind talking about this publicly because uh, previously on a thread on I think it was Ask UK subreddit, either the Ask UK subreddit or some some UK subreddit, right? Uh, someone asked, "What is the worst company that you've experienced, or worst company service, or something like that?" And it was a very long thread, a very long discussion. And I decided to throw my hat in there by explaining the uh, explaining very briefly the um, Vodafone thing that's been going on for a while because it fucking pisses me off. And I'm glad that I wasn't alone in this. Uh, a few people responded saying, yeah, fuck Vodafone. I've also had shit happen to me like X. Um, but to give a brief overview, because this story is in the public domain now, uh... Let's see, back in 2012, I think it was. It's 2012, what am I talking about? Back in February 2021, I upgraded my phone. I wasn't going to, but what happened was I was very happy with my previous phone, which was a Samsung S10 Plus, mm-hmm. which is probably still the best phone I've ever used. Um, Go Samsung, uh, but <laughs> uh, but but then one day uh, through some sort of mishap, it fell into the bath and the bottom half of the screen broke uh, catastrophically. So it no, uh, I have a photograph of it which I should show to you if you wanted to ever edit that in at some point. If you ever wanted to actually do some editing, uh, uh. <laughs> yeah, I, I'll send that your way. But basically what it does is it, it shows the damage, which is the top half of the screen is perfectly fine. You can see it. It even responds to touch. But the bottom half of the screen is completely fucked. It only shows a white, a pure white uh, picture and doesn't respond <laughs> to touch at all. It was completely unusable. Oh, I made an explanation of how I managed to get my stuff off that phone, uh, which involved very arcane rituals and processes of how to connect it to the computer while also using something else to control it because I couldn't use the touchscreen. But anyway, the point was that phone was great, but then it got fucked. And I was way too lazy. I have been with Vodafone since 20... 11, maybe, maybe even 2010. I don't remember. Ever since I got my own phone, when I became a big boy and (laughs) didn't have to get one from my dad, 
right? Mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm going to get my own phone, and I'm not going to have to let my dad dictate what contract <laughs> I'm on or what SIM card I'm using or what kind of phone I have. I'm going to buy it myself. And so I did, and I went with Vodafone for some reason I don't understand. Um, they probably just had a deal at the time. And I've been with them ever since. Uh, which has been good and bad. I've had moments of extreme frustration, like when they overcharged me for most of my contract by £10 per month. Jeez. And I argued with them, uh, eventually getting a refund. Oh, sorry, no, a partial refund from them. But I that managed to give me a lot of clout with which to negotiate my future contracts with them. Uh, anytime they would bring up a price, I'd be like, hey, do you remember the time that you extorted me out of £10 a month? Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> uh, but that's it. that clout seems to have disappeared altogether now. So, when my phone broke in February, or possibly even end of January, I don't remember exactly when it was, I'm like, fuck. I was thinking of two things uh, before then. I was thinking, okay, maybe I don't want to get a Samsung anymore. They seem to be pretty samey lately. And maybe I don't want to be with Vodafone anymore. Because fuck Vodafone, the service has been absolutely shit. I get very slow speeds sometimes. Um, and my calls are some... Uh, like, my call quality is not great either. Fuck. So then, when it broke, I'm like, fuck it, I can't be asked. I've got work to do. I don't want to spend time shopping around. I'm going to call up Samsung. Sorry, no, I'm going to call up Vodafone and say to them, please give me the latest Samsung, whatever, and uh, the best one, and uh, give me whatever discount you can offer me for the monthly contract. And they did that. I got the S21 Ultra, 512 gigabyte model, because they don't have a fucking SD card slot in it anymore. Is that like top of the lane? That is, the, that is, I think it still is until the next ones come out. Uh, their ex, their, their best model, <clears throat> uh, their flagship, the S21 Ultra, which is the flagship of the S21 series, mm -hmm. and the 512 gigabyte model. Because fuck you, we didn't include an SD card with this phone, SD card slot with this phone. Now I have had an SD card in my phone ever since 2014. And that SD card has built up over the years to include many, many, many memes, pictures, photographs, loots, videos, anime, whatever you want. A it's true got all treasure sorts of treasure trove of. Um, yes. Uh, it's. Gold. It's. Um, currently sitting at around 300 gigabytes. Of data. Nice. Which is just on top of whatever is on the phone. Right. So because the regular models of the S21 Ultra, the 128 gigabyte and 256 gigabyte could not support that level of uh, information. I'm like, well, I'm obligated to get the 512 gigabyte model. Which apparently seems to have been a bad move. Because Samsung have since discontinued that model only. They are still selling the S21 Ultra, but only in 128 and 256 gigabyte variants. I have not been able to find out why, although I have my own theories. And people have their own theories. But to continue, I got this phone, the S21 Ultra. Uh, the only difference between the 512 gigabyte model and the rest of them is that it has 512 gigabytes of storage as well as extra RAM, 16 gigabytes of RAM, while the other ones, 128 and 256, uh, have 12 gigabytes of RAM. Right. Now, they are, because we're in the UK, we get the shit Exynos chip instead of, hmm? Do we? I thought we got a better chip. No, no. Well, it depends. Some people like Exynos better. Um, I don't. So we get the Exynos chip instead of... I'm going to take my bias off it. We get the Exynos chip instead of the Snap uh, Snapdragon, Snapdragon chip. Okay. Yeah, the Snapdragon chip is the one which most people uh, internationally perceive as 
desirable. Okay. Um, but you can't get a Snapdragon version in the UK with a warranty. Not legitimately, anyway. So, um, you know, we're kind of boned in that respect. But I, I don't let it bother me too much. Um, it only really matters for things like, you know, battery life and performance. You I'm... know, the things that don't really matter. <laughs> nice. Oh, and heat dissipation. Oh. Because who doesn't like their phone feeling like a furnace in their pocket? <laughs> anyway, um, so the Snapdragon variant is the one which most people want, and it's the one I can't get because fuck, uh, fuck, uh, fuck everyone in the UK and wherever they don't sell the Snapdragon. I still don't know why they do that. It was some kind of bullshit uh, contract thing. But anyway, I love this phone, the S21 Ultra, despite my experience with it, which has been mostly negative ever since... Uh, August, it has been a great phone, and I love it for several reasons. It's got a heft to it. It's a very heavy phone for a phone. Um, my S10 Plus feels like a toy in comparison to the S21 Ultra. And I love that weight. It was so heavy that my phone magnetic mount in my car Kept, felling, or kept falling out the CD tray every time I stuck the S21 Ultra on it. I had to buy a more secure magnetic mount just to hold it there. Wait. You're telling me that this is a good thing? You like this? I like the weight. It feels substantial. Feels like a chonker, man. Yes. You like them chunky? I like it when something feels solid. I like it when it feels like it's had a lot of work done to it. And that is what it feels like. It feels like something substantial. It doesn't feel flimsy. It doesn't feel weak. And that's what I like. Hmm. Anyway, so this phone uh, has got a camera which I believe looks like a tumor. If you've ever seen it, you'll know what I'm talking about. It's, say that again. It's got a camera that looks like a tuna. A tumor, like a, a cancerous lump. Wait, well, right. What's the phone again? This is the... Um... All right, have a look at it. If you haven't seen it before, I implore you, look at it. The S21 Ultra. And it is specifically the Ultra, because the other S21 series phones don't have the same camera unit. Oh, my God. Well, it's got, like... Um... Wait, why can't I see this? Uh, <laughs> oh dear. S21 Ultra images. Oh god. What's that thing, in um, that f fear that people have of holes? Thalassophobia? Yeah, I hate that. Like, I've, I've, went, I've done those online tests where it's like, check to see if you have this condition. And some of those images freak me out. Yeah, this is a bit like that. The back of that thing is freaking... It's not very pleasant, isn't it? No, it looks like a bug. Yeah, so oh. uh, like I said, it looks like a tumour to me because, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's physically massive. It unbalances the phone when you try to lay it down on a surface. Oh, God, I can't. Ugh. Hey, there we go. Uh, that should do it. Nope. Add there. Yeah, uh, it looks weird as well. Yeah. But I ended up liking it after a while. And I know it's weird, but, you know, whatever. I end up liking it. It's it's just one of those things about the phone. Like, it, it has a certain yeah to it. Hey, man. You like it, doesn't matter shit. Mm. So, uh, this phone is actually really nice. It has a 120 hertz screen, uh, sometimes 60, but, uh, you know, just to sort of save battery. The battery is actually pretty decent. <laughs> for a long time, for me, it, uh, it was heating up like a motherfucker, I swear to you. Like, 40 degrees was not unusual for the reported temperature of the CPU. Oh, yeah. But because I use a case, uh, even though it 
I could feel it in the case, right? But it wasn't so bad. If you took it out the case, then fucking it was like so hot that you'd drop it. Um, but yeah, and it ran quite well. Like, but honestly, feels nice to use. I don't use my phone for much else other than like YouTube videos and surfing the internet. I do not play games on my phone. Um, no, I do not play games on my phone. I have never been into mobile gaming. So things like Genshin Impact and I don't know, COD Mobile maybe, uh, have escaped me. What I know there's of, the fun. What hmm? type of life do you live, man, without playing uh, the most important games in the world? I, I say as a person who hasn't played a mobile game <laughs> almost ever. Um, Snake too, man. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> dude, I wasn't I wasn't fancy enough to have a fancy Nokia back in the day. Oh god, the Nokia thirty three ten. Do you know I did get actually? I tell a lie. I did get a, mm. a Nokia, but it wasn't the thirty two ten. It was one that came out after that, and it was like I don't know what it was called. It was a weird one, the thirty five. Mm. I can't even remember what it was called now. Um, I don't think I've ever heard of that one. I saw we. Oh god, it was such a weird. I'm. I'm. Go, I'm making up numbers now. <laughs> I'm trying to find. <laughs> I'm trying to find what one it was. Um. Oh yes. Oh yes. Have you found it? Yes, it was a Nokia thirty six fifty. Hmm. And that um, is a weird number. If um. If I'm smart, I'm um. Open a new window for the um. Oh, for fuck's sake! Uh, just fight and getting an image off of the internet, and for the audience, I'll show the audience. I can just uh, yeah. Can I show the audience? I'm gonna have to minimize your window a little bit. Oh, I can't That's minimize right. your window. Why can't? <laughs> Ah, this is, um, oh, well, fuck it. I will, uh, <laughs> maybe edit in an image of a Nokia 3650. Showing my age here, it was a bit of a, it wasn't heavy, but it, it was, uh, the size of a brick. And it had the weirdest, uh, keypad ever. It was like a round keypad. If, um, oh. Such a weird phone. So that had Snake, but by the point I got this phone, Nokia's weren't, you know... Cool anymore. <laughs> no, they were still... You were still getting loads of them, but they weren't cool. Like the 3210 yeah. was when it came out. The but 3210 was properly cool. I don't know why. It but... was the equivalent of um, iPhone now. Yeah, it really was. I don't think anyone nowadays would... Uh, like kids nowadays <laughs> i sound like a fucking old guy a boomer Dude, you're old <laughs> 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 this kids <laughs> kid fucking tiktok days. fuck this shit oh they don't know what a real phone is what's a oh, youtuber I... it's not a real job Man, get a I... job so i didn't have the 3310 <laughs> the phone i had was the 3330 i don't know if you've seen this no I'm right not. And it's gimmick, and this really was a gimmick. It was not useful at all, even back then. But it looks similar to the 3210. It is. It, what it is, is the 3210 with internet capabilities. Oh, WAP. Yeah. Which I don't oh. even know what that stands for, but that was up, like... It was shit. <laughs> I didn't you, even... you think nowadays off the internet on a phone, you think, yeah, that's normal. Right, because you know the internet on the phone is the same internet. Oh, what the fuck's that? Oh yeah, the the internet on your phone is the same internet that you get on your PC, right? Yeah. But back then it wasn't. It was like dedicated websites which were horse shit, right? Because they had to render on a screen which was like less resolution than a Nintendo Entertainment System. Yep. It was fucking terrible. And oh. we loved every second of it. Mate, but I never I'll tell used you, it. It was shit. <laughs> I'm not talking about the internet. I'm talking about those phones. Oh, yeah. I feel like phones nowadays are so uh, homogenous. They're all the same. They all look like black fucking rectangles. There's no variety to them. Uh, like, okay, yeah, the backs look different. 
but you know the backs are just like a slab and a camera i mean sure they look different but they do the same function they've achieved their final form really especially with smartphones and touchscreens and like yeah yeah what you want is just give me all the screen plays all the screens it's Um, true like a phone nowadays is just like can i do internet messaging can i do like you know can i make calls can i receive calls can i make texts and receive texts can i can i also use additional services like whatsapp and discord and will i be able to see my porn on it yes okay can i send dick to pics go. to people that don't want to see it on snapchat absolutely <laughs> just my can friend I be a... you are well catered for <laughs> can i just be a general menace to society via a mobile device <laughs> yep That'll do. <laughs> so that's your phones nowadays, right? I think I finished this. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I didn't time myself, but I said I think it'll take 20 minutes. And I think it has been about 20 minutes. Anyway, I haven't even got to the main point of my conversation yet. So let's move on to part two of this project, which is oh. to make a smiley face. I don't mean a smiley face. I mean an open mouth emote. How am I going to do this? I haven't even decided yet. Wait, are you anyway, going to save uh, this image first? I've already saved it. Oh, and you're, are you duplicating the whole image or are you going to just do it as a separate layer? A separate layer that's a duplicated layer. Hmm. So, the first thing I'll do is just get rid of this tongue. Um. Now, this will either be a one-click job or it'll take you 20 minutes. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, what the fuck? There we, there we go. What is this? Magic. There we go. The oh, fuck? Is that the um, ah. plaster tool or some crap? No, I'm just using a brush with her skin tone on it. Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm like, what fancy... What, what, what witchery is this? <laughs> I need to make it more rounded, and then I can use this, and then I can start drawing all sorts of stuff, like... Ooh, God, that's too thick. Uh, anyway, what, what was I saying? Would, what I would do is, if you just take the mouth out, you can just have the mouth... If you just get rid of the mouth... You can have a separate mouth as a separate layer, and then you can just like switch. The I mean, layers. that would that would be the smart thing to do. But anyway, uh, what was I saying? Part two. Uh, of of your story, you were talking about the phone, and uh, <laughs> um, uh, I, I actually I wanted to touch on phones we've had in the past because we were talking about the thirty three ten and the thirty three thirty and that, right? Yeah. Uh, the one of my all-time favorite phones I had was not the Motorola V V3 because that was too cool for me. Probably, um, my dad had the V3. What the fuck? I believe everyone had the V3 anyway. No, I had the I had the Motorola V3 X. Wait, what the hell? Is Have a look. Name? Look it up. Well, and first my of one all, was Mo- Motorola. You should know the V3. It was a very popular phone. Wait, uh, dude, I can't remember jack shit. Oh, the Razor. That's it, the How Razor can you say, V3. It's like, what's a V3? It's the Razor, man. The Razor V3. Do you know they Sorry, made a new I one could... of that recently? I do know that. That it was It's like fun. got like a folding screen. Mm. Kind of mental. Uh, you said you had the V3X. Yes, a V3X. And specifically in Pumpkin Orange. Why? Uh, I don't know why. How? But that was the color I had. Oh, and I see it. Oh, it's glorious. I will not permit any trashing of it. That phone was excellent. It was Fucking also the hell, first man. time. It was also the first time I managed to successfully use a phone as a torch. Um, for our American viewers, if there are indeed any, a flashlight. But fucking hell, grow up and use the term torch, you weirdos. Don't they use... Alright, ignoring that, what, did it have a flash on it? it? You know the camera flash? Yep. You were able to turn it on as just a light. Oh, the way we... The way you do now. now. Yeah. The way phones do now. Like, it's a, it's a normal function now, right? But yeah. that was way back in, like, the mid-2000s, and I was using it as a torch. Too bad they only had the battery life for, like, ten minutes or something. It had pretty good battery life. I mean, I think at the time I was young, right? Uh, but I do have one story in which we were stranded during one of our international escapades 
on a side road in India. A motorway. I don't know what we were doing exactly, where we were going or whatever. One doesn't usually get stranded, stranded on the motorway in India. <laughs> well, when we say motorway, it's a very frightening experience because much like the roads here in the UK, there's a lot of stretches where there's no, uh, no street lighting. Oh, damn. Yeah, and it gets properly pitch black nighttime over there. Um, yeah, that was bad. Where the fuck's my mouse gone? Here we are. So I take it right. the torch came in handy at that point. Yeah, it came in very handy because I could actually see stuff. And, you know, even though it's night, people in India don't want to drive with their headlights on. Oh, wow. Just wow. So, who knows, man? That's not. Yeah, but anyway, uh, coming back, uh, coming back to it. Uh, I d you've seen it, right? It's a very good phone, that one. I rate it highly. Dude, how did you have the fanciest phones? I had some fucking shit phones back in the day. <laughs> well, I should I should point out that I kept that phone and used it for a period of like five years. Yeah, back in the day when you could, before you had lithium ion batteries that lasted fuck all time. Mm. Yeah, before the good old days of today when you can't keep anything for longer than a year and a half. Yeah. And then it just shits out on you. Well, usually the battery just becomes unbearable and then you either uh, take it to some shop to re replace the battery or you decide to take apart your phone and try it yourself, which I'm planning to do with my old phone. But I've not done it yet. I've got the parts, but I've just not had the uh, courage to do it. But I know it's going to end up just ruining I'm going to end up ruining it. Like, uh, this is the state of play we live in. And um, all this talk about we make recyclable products by Apple and Samsung. And Bollocks! I'm like, Bollocks. Um, how about... Bollocks you, and horse shit. You make the thing that fucking is almost guaranteed to die... In like a few years, how about you make that easily replaceable, big boys? No, because you want to keep on selling us new phones every year. Of course, I yeah yeah yep, yeah. hundred percent recyclable mass, right? Um, yeah, mm. so just like, and phones just get like, I would I'd probably just keep my phone. I don't want to change my phone. I'm too lazy to go out and get a new phone it is because the battery just becomes unbearable and uh it is an element of laziness i'm like i could change the battery out but i know my phone will never be the same again because i'm not i know i'll botch the job mm. but yeah that that that's a little pet peeve of mine um hopefully with this gen z uh being a lot more aware of the complete clusterfuck that is the environment uh <clears throat> maybe um this will push these big bad asshole fucking companies to actually be a little bit more reasonable in terms of um allowing you to fix your phone without having to take it apart in a way that makes you think you're going to break into I know there's stuff like the Fairphone. There's a couple of, there's one or two companies that have came out with kind of modular phones or phones that you can just like open up and replace the battery of. It's like what a novel idea, replacing the battery. Something that phones were you were able to do with the phone for the last like freaking twenty years. It's only in the last I don't know what it is decade where they decide to like no 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 we need to make phones super thin. Therefore we super need to thin. Super thin and sealed so that they're waterproof. Waterproofing is a feature I do like in my phones. Um, but, yeah, it's not ultimately necessary. The only thing I do with it is use it in the bath. I'm pretty sure you can have a case backing with a rubber gasket sealant in a certain a way that can make it reasonably waterproof. Because none of these are, like, 
a hundred percent waterproof, right? It's not like you can go swimming in with a lot of these phones. Eventually, they screw up, and nobody, or at least most people, don't go swimming with their mobile. So like, it's one of those gimmick. Like, it definitely, splash proof is important. An element of water resistance is important when you're in the rain and stuff like that. Yeah. And maybe for that odd splash when you drop it in the toilet or whatever. Oh, that did happen to me once. That was did bad. it? Oh man, dude, <laughs> was it? Did you? <laughs> what, was it messy toilet or was it a clean toilet? No, thank God, it was a clean toilet. It wasn't a messy toilet. Because, um, because if it was a messy toilet, I don't care. I would have just gotten rid of it. I just fl- flushed the toilet and hope it goes down. So I'm not doing that. It's, it's gone to the it's gone to the fucking phone graveyard. I'm not touching that bad boy. Yeah, just like you know, farewell. I'll never see you again. You were a good phone. <laughs> Uh huh. Um. So, uh, yeah. Coming back to my story about the S twenty one Ultra because we've been talking about India and other phones now. Uh, that phone was honestly really good. I really did like it. Um, it's just a shame that after a while it decided it didn't want to do anything. <laughs> it's like, hey, you know that ability to uh conveniently make and receive calls how about no well well that thing that is your core function in life mm. is like how, how about no mm, very nice yeah, it's a bit rough around the edges but we're getting there i think you just need to like the the lines just need to be straightened a bit or uh, well that's it? what i mean by yeah. it's a bit rough around the edges <laughs> but it's not that bad it's it's just like a little bit of finessing. There we are. I think that's the perfect size. Yeah, actually, let's move it a little bit that way, and that's probably right. Look at this Photoshop expert, Cookso, on uh, the Ashman channel. <laughs> Please, I'm not photoshopping. We've got our very own British Bob Ross here. Bob Lock, uh, Bob Ross, <laughs> bollocks, man! Oh God, Bob Ross! <laughs> and we have this uh, beautiful little anime waifu here. Gonna add uh, uh, a little bit of color here, and look at this! Oh, this is wonderful. You know what? I'm gonna completely redo this. I'm fucking. Hang on. This one is fine. That's the. I'm gonna lose track. So. Uh... Her mouth is open, mouth she's interior. screaming to the void. Mouth she's interior. Like, what the fuck is this now? That's the edges. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, so no, can... you've attached it to that layer. No, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so I can just draw around it now. Okay, uh, yeah, we're, we're cool. We're cool. We are cool. Right, uh, S21 Ultra, it just decided one day, and I know the day because I've made extensive notes, <laughs> On the, tw- I woke up on the 25th of August one day, and my phone decided, hey, we have no signal. And I can't make or receive calls. And I'm like, well, that kind of sucks. But it's weird, but, you know, it's not out of the ordinary for a phone to sometimes lose its signal. I'm not going to think that much of it. But I did complain about it to my friends and family. Uh, uh, Oh, fuck. Oh, no. (laughs) What was that? What was that That monstrosity? (laughs) That was bad. That's probably like all the stuff I've done to get the mouth away from there. So the original mouth, that is. Uh, Yeah, it just decided it's like, oh, I don't want to be a phone anymore. I not even internet. Oh, wrong one. Not internet, not phone, not anything. And it's real. But the worst part of the problem is that it's an intermittent issue. It's not a constant. It's not like, hey, I am not making phone calls ever. It's like, hey, brah, I don't feel like it right now. And it's complete. It's the, the signal loss is completely gone, right? People so be, To be fair, right? 
I feel like that's my attitude to life sometimes. I'm like, eh, I can't be bothered just now. I'm just going to... Yes. Yes, but your attitude to life should not be a phone's design or function, right? <laughs> I mean, I would argue that my point of existence in life is to achieve something, but sometimes it's just like I can't be arsed doing anything in this existence and just being a lazy shit and watching YouTube. Mm-hmm. Uh, don't forget to <laughs> like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> like and subscribe <laughs> and dislike if you think this is utter trash because it because to be fair it is <laughs> if you dislike my uh stunningly bad photoshop skills i don't blame you in the slightest that one bit if you dislike the uh story about the mobile phone breaking down then you are probably a vodafone shill and should die um... all right Carrying on. That, well, the thing is, the irony of all of this is nobody's watching things. Yeah, I don't care. I like that. All right. <laughs> all right. Um, yeah, the problem is the phone decided to not be a phone anymore and just completely lose signal, but only sometimes. And at, at the time, you know, everyone's working from home. That's what was big at the time. Mm -hmm. Pandemic. Lockdown. Not lockdown, really, but yeah, pandemic and all that bullshit. People were working from home, so you know it wasn't so bad in the terms in terms of like what could have happened because it's like, hey, I'm not going to London that much, so it's not really affecting me all that badly. But I mean, but it's still fucking annoying, right? If you're working from home, don't you need your phone more? No, 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 no. I need my internet Ye because people are using Zoom. People are using Microsoft Teams. They're not calling on the phone that much. Oh. And actually, the biggest the biggest reason why it didn't matter too much is I am using my home Wi-Fi, which is still good, still going strong. My goodness, man! Bad home internet is the bane of my life. Like if that when that happens, I literally lose the will to live. I can't live without mm. internet. I'm rethinking this mouth design entirely, and maybe I'll get rid of the teeth. I like it. Once you smooth out the lines, yeah, um, and it will get smoothed out eventually through trial and error. That's but see what's the teeth. Happen. You've done the teeth yep. too. You've covered too much. Too much. Yeah, I know. I I, I can feel that already. Yeah, I, I think, think about it was that when it's like yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe a bit more on the right hand side. As an edit, yeah, yeah, uh, that looks yeah, yeah. that looks fine, man. That I looks need, legit, man. I need to look at some anime girls to compare this to, but um, like I don't usually look that closely. This is the problem when you're drawing something. Well, I am, I am actually using a reference image oh. for this, which I'm just going to quickly uh, show. Wait, hang on, uh, screens. Screen two. Pardon me. There, I am using this as a reference image. Nice. Uh, no need to worry. This is safe for work, Gelburu. Very good. But just in case, but just in case, we're going to go back anyway. Uh, to screen one. Photoshop. Nice. Right. Okay. Um. Yeah, I've managed to make a pretty good edit so far. Let's watch yeah. this completely deteriorate. I wonder. Like, uh, I've attempted to draw things in the past and they've been absolutely terrible. And I've noticed that most of the things I've drawn have been, um, it's mostly the kind of outlines in black and white. I've not even mm. attempted to colour things in most. Um, in the majority of my fucking shitty hand-drawn pish. But um, I wonder if I could do a Yotsuba. I mean, this is this this minor edit is really not all that difficult. Uh, no, I'm thinking of like drawing from scratch. Oh, drawing from I can't draw from scratch. I mean, look at these fucking lines, dude. Right, dude, dude. It's only dude. taken in uh, taken in comparison with the whole image and the fact that you'll be seeing it uh, you'll be seeing it this fucking small or maybe this that looks fine. Dude, it's just practice. Yeah. 
I mean, are you, you're not. It's not like you're. Or every better day. yet, if I was if I was fucking smart, I would turn on smoothing. Go here, <laughs> get my outline. Right. Uh, where's my outline? Um, uh, get a fucking pencil. Where's the pencils? I need to get some proper fucking pencils because these are shit. Uh, okay, pencil hard. Okay, get a fucking pencil. Make it smaller because that's way too big. Uh, and then with smoothing on, do I have smoothing on? No. With smoothing on, I can then draw a fucking line. Look at that. that ain't that ain't fucking shit. But my pride wants me to do it properly, dude. What the fuck? Nobody, nobody like people use oh God, all the, the tools that they, they have available to them. Me. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. All right, there we are. Okay, what was I doing? Um. Oh yeah. Right. So, was I talking about my phone? <laughs> I was, wasn't I? Do you know while you're doing this, right? I'm going to. Hmm. I wonder if I can edit the Chica image mm -hmm. that I've got representing you just now. Hey, feel free. Oh, feel no. I need, do you know, I need free. to look into making GIFs, GIFs, whatever the fuck they're called. Oh, God, hang on. I've got the wrong picture. There what we I, go. What I can do is just, um, right now I've just got a floating Oops. head uh, representing me. And uh, ah. I was like, Cool if um I had a uh, a little gif playing. I don't know how is it Jeff or Gif? Hang on. Uh I think it's supposed to be Jeff, but most people say GIF because they like being wrong. Fuck my smoothing is still on. Wait, I'll say Jeff. I don't know. I'm not trying to be contrarian. But like um yeah, it'd be cool to make a little Jeff of a moving mouth when I talk. I thought that'd be cool because um, my content is shit, so I need to make up for it by adding some flashiness. Um, uh, that's what most people do. Or um, doing a sweepstake giveaway of a Ferrari or some bullshit. <laughs> that involves getting a Ferrari to give away. That involves having some money. None of are going to happen, man. I'm not going to leech fucking... All right, we're getting there. We are getting there. I think that's is looking okay. And... <laughs> My always what I always add is a massive blush because I like massive blushes. You're uh, a blushing man. No, I am not a blushing man <laughs> because that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. Uh... Oh, look at you. By the way, I've noticed that see around the mouth, there does seem to be a hard edge between the kind of yeah, yeah. On, the right, yeah, on the right hand side where her, yeah, that's a bit hard. That needs to go, that needs to go. Where is that from? Is that this? That's not. No. Is that this? No. Nope. Is this? Nope. Oh no, I'm talking about the slightly to see between the where her blush ends on the right hand side. Um, yeah. There's like a slightly yes. hard, yeah, it's a slightly hard edge. It just needs to be smoothed out a bit. Oh, I hadn't noticed that at all. Okay. So I think it's one of the things that when you notice it, you can't, when you see it, you can't unsee it. That's fine. That's not a problem. Do your wizard's dray, cook soul. And... Make her beautiful. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, there. That's good enough. That's good. Yeah, simple fixes are the best ones. Okay. And actually, I will take this and use that as the foundation for the blush. So if I go here, go to multiply, size up. Wait, what does that multiply work? do? Multiplies the values of the colors together. Lower the fill rate. Add more. Yep. There we are. Pretty good, man. Hmm. So now we have Hang on. Wait a minute. This one. 
that okay the tongue, you have the kind of like tongue sticking out and then the mouth hmm yeah i wanted to have just the normal face as well so that's the foundation oh god it looks weird when you get up close it looks weird um how can i improve this I got it. I was thinking mm -hmm. about whether I should get a subscription to Adobe Bullshit um, for the After Effects. Um, I think that's the one that you, the software you use to edit your videos. Um, I don't know though. Because I could use that. Photoshop might come in handy because I use GIMP a lot of the time and I've actually got a couple of other pieces of software on my Mac. Uh, Affinity Designer is quite good and I use something called Vectornator for um, making SVGs which is actually what my um, my little floating head was drawn in. Like I made it as an SVG first because that kind of um, it retains the kind of sharpness it's very good for simple images and then I just kind of blew it up and uh, saved the PNG the version of it. I see the mistake I've done. All right, I should unmerge the layers. There we go. Right. This blush is actually throwing things off. Damn it. I'll just make it less visible then. Subtlety sometimes is the best thing to do. All right, then. Yeah. Um, and that's done. I think that's basically it. Nice. This um, is my avatar. So are you going to send me two images then? One of normal face and one of chatty face? Don't want, don't want to send normal face. Yeah. <laughs> Um, because I have her with the uh, no face here, so I can actually make expressions. You know, like an anime. Mm -hmm. There's like like there's not a lot of animation in a lot of anime uh, in terms of like static scenes when people are usually just standing there talking to each other. It's just like mouth movements and things like that and, and in visual novels as well so like yeah 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 the the famous two or three flame uh, frames uh mouth flap yeah like um i'm sure i can so you um... can get oh, fucking hell you can get away with something oh my days what the this is the one i want give me man what the fuck is happening <laughs> i just want that yeah you just want to go like this, and there you oh, go. Dear. <laughs> oh, <fuck. laughs> Turning it into a horror thing, man. So I do best. Yeah, I'm actually quite happy with that. And end stream. All right, are we ending? <laughs> Is that as done, man? Just... Oh, well. I'm basically just going to export this now and send it to you. Awesome. Um, As a PNG. Well, uh, because the PNG will keep the uh, transparency. Oh, come on. Oh, my OBS has been open this whole time. Lol. Right. Well, Why? I think I'll leave that. Uh, I'll stop the recording here. No, my OBS has not been open this whole time. It's been crashed this whole time. Oh, there we no. go. <laughs> all right, there we go. There, um, send, sending this to you. All right. Uh, and there we are. Right, I'm recording. Oh, shit. Wait, I think I missed something. One sec. I'm just going to stop sharing this desktop. Have a look at what you've sent me. Fuck's sake, I missed something. Have you? Yeah, hang on. Wait. I'm going to bring the stream back. There's one way of checking for things you've missed. No problem. I mean, I'm still recording. I just kind of switched off the desktop. All right, here we are. Uh, I forgot to do a check, a sense check. Okay, um, watch the stream again. 
bring it back up. There's a way of doing a sense check if you've missed anything, which is just to fill the background in uh, with a color. So oh, is that to make sure that there's nothing in the background? Make sure there's no noise in the background or anything. So let's go with yellow. Hello. Looks good. And. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. Oh, no. Who are you? And why are you here? How do I get rid of you? <laughs> Wait, where the fuck? Where the fuck are you? <laughs> it's just like a stray ass piece of little white paint. It's like get lost, motherfucker. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And there we go. <laughs> oh my god! Actually, you know what? In terms of art. Uh, streams, you know, from Hololive En, the VTubers, um, Ina is really good. She can draw an image from scratch and have it fully colored and done in like an hour or something. Nice, maybe two hours, and it's a really good image. I found out afterwards she was uh, previously t uh, before doing VTubing, she was actually doing artwork for mobile games. Makes sense. Yeah, I'm like, man, that's mental. <laughs> All right, export, quick export as PNG. Replace the last one. And send that to you. I'm going to try and do something. I'm going to try and duplicate this thing on OBS. Copy, and I'm going to paste you. And I'm going to rename you. Love live mucking about with OBS on stream. This mm -hmm. wait, we're not even streaming. What am I talking about? Um, on recording. That's just how we fucking roll here. Um, I'm gonna put you here. Just gonna fiddle with this. I'm gonna make you. I'm just gonna quickly get that smile layer up again. Put your Discord. Awesome. Well, I've got a little spectralizer thingy, Maduga, for um, for me. And why is that eighth bar not doing anything? That's that's kind of annoys me. Um, I have eight bars, and the eighth bar never moves. If I make it seven, the seventh bar. What is going on? Logarithmic? What does that do? Uh, oof, let's not do logarithmic. Um, hmm. Hmm. I don't know how. Maybe I just don't have higher frequencies. I don't know how this bar thing works. I don't know how it's been. I There's my two frames. Right, one second. Uh, uh, there are my two frames. Right, which one? All right. The, the last, last two. two. Okay. The last two. Yeah, that's look at that's right. Okay, I'm gonna uh save image. I'm gonna call this Cookso <laughs> talking and save this image. Oof. Image Cookso quiet. Right, and I'm going to have a look at my, where am I going to put these? I'm going to have to create a folder somewhere. I need a good place to start saving these, so picture, no. Uh, just having a look through my folders. I'm going to say, uh, cook soul streams. Have you finished recording? No, no, I'm still recording, but I've just, um, I've made the <laughs> desktops blank. Good, um, because I never finished my story. <laughs> you carry on with the story. I will uh, muck it Now that I've finished this. the picture, I can actually focus on the story. Right, so my phone fucking died. It's like, Ooh, I'm not... And like a fucking moody teenager, right? Love it. So I'm like, okay, well, this is bollocks. Uh, after a while, I'm like, okay, I'm going to call I'm gonna call up Vodafone and say to him, hey, your signal's not working. Because I assumed it was a signal problem. 
We'll get to what it actually was afterwards. In fact, we still don't know what it was, to be honest. But carrying on. So at the time, Vodafone were like, hey, you know, we've got special. We, we've noticed that one of your masts is pretty shit. A specialist engineer is going to be working on it. And I'm like, all right, cool. Hopefully that will sort the situation out and I'll get my signal back. But also, that's super weird because I live with my brother and my brother is also on Vodafone and mysteriously, he has no signal issues whatsoever. <laughs> And then I, the X, X-Files theme song starts playing. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah. And do you know what? Fucking Vodafone maintained that stance of it being a signal issue due to the um, uh, masts for a long time. Now, I wasn't going out a lot because I, I'm staying at home most of the time, working from home and just being a recluse. But over the time, we've had a few weddings to attend in various parts of the country. Yeah. And when I went to visit those weddings, I noticed that my signal issues persisted. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just... <laughs> All right, let me share my screen. All right, what's going on? I just, I just, I just love this. Um, let me show I want to see this now. Let me show OBS. Um, tell me when you can see it. I can see my screen. Hang on, let me get it out so I can see it properly. In oh, hello. I like this. Yeah, it's a little uh, delayed. Well, oh, that's just because oh, it's delayed I'm, because it's delayed yeah. coming back to you. Because I'm watching point. it. Oh, that's actually really good. Yeah, dude, I'm gonna. I need to uh, do something with mine. <laughs> like, I'm happy with this. I mean, I can do the same thing. I uh, just have no mouth and have it thingy. But now that you've got like a cute little, you've got Yotsuba as your avatar, and you're like, I don't know. Um, I like being a floating head. Well, go with the floating head thing then, innit? We don't have to be uniform. I know. I mean, nothing about this whole channel is uniform or done well anyway. So, but I might, <laughs> I might, I'll definitely, um, Okay. Are you going to keep this? Are you going to keep the spectralizer on the side where it's showing the uh, visual representation of the frequencies? Uh, I don't know. I was just really messing about with it. I don't know if it's. Um... Well, I like that mine is green and yours is red. It's a cool effect. Yeah, I kind of like that. Um... If if it was me doing it, I wouldn't have it next to the portrait. But I might have it like on the top left and top right. I don't know if that's just the fighting game fan in me being like health bars at the top, or maybe it's more like a super bar which should be at the bottom. <laughs> I don't know. Let me see. Uh, actually, no. Now that I think about it, it was way better when it was next to the portraits. <laughs> oh, you can control Z. Thank God. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, the undo button. I know. I think that thing's. Pretty shit hot, man. I'm I like mm. after you know, it took me days, weeks to um like the spectralizer and the thing that we're using is called um the other plugin we're using called image reaction. Yeah. Um you know, these are free plugins that have been designed by great guys. So search for them on OBS plugins. I've just plugin. noticed that you've shaded your your glasses in as well. Yeah, like I was there was a reason for that. I wanted, right? This I, I don't even know if this is possible, right? But you know how you've got the spectralizer thing, right? I wanted it to appear just in my glasses. You know what? Within the shape of my glasses, the spectralizer bit. Oh, I get what you mean. And you to can do, do that. that, I need to mask by a color. Hmm. And yeah, so I was trying to play with that, but I feel like that's a thing that I need to spend a couple of hours on my own fanning <laughs> about with because it because i think that would be kind of cool but i don't know if that's a bit 
I don't know. I might even try to try to change the drawing I have, like to make the glasses more like uh, cyberpunky. So like, uh, straight glasses, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Uh, that would be easier to put overlay the kind of. You might want to go for like a Daft Punk visor. Yeah, man, I fucking love Daft Punk. Um, mm. something like that, and um, yeah. But uh, no, man, this is this shiz. But yeah, like the whole background of this is I went down this like for anyone that's listening that's not me or Cookso. Just Follow the be... whole story. Watch every video. I mean, this is who's going to listen to this? What am I lying? What? 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 Well, who am I fooling? Right? It's just going to be me and you listening to this. But um, like the story behind this is that like I took ages. I you. I am blessed to have a MacBook. Uh, blessed or maybe cursed, depending on what you think. Um, blessed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and it's an M1 MacBook, so I'm even more privileged. Blessed. Even more blessed. <laughs> blessed. Blessed by the gods of Apple. Um, <laughs> Steve Jobs himself came down <laughs> and blessed it for you. <laughs> <laughs> but... Um, <laughs> The issue is that a lot of these plugins on OBS have been uh, made for Windows or Linux. They don't. So Spectralizer and this other one that we're using called Image Reaction was only um, they're only available for Linux and Windows, which is uh, fun. So, but they have the source code for these plugins are available online on GitHub. If anyone's familiar with that, and then. Mm-hmm. Um, I went down a, a rabbit hole where I decided to try and teach myself C++ because I was like, right, I want this image reaction uh, plugin is ideal and I kind of want to use it. The code is up there on GitHub so I can look at the code to see how he's made a plugin. I was like, you know, what? I'll just make my own. And then I went down another rabbit hole of, wait, I can just download this code and uh, build it using C++ and all that on my computer. And then I'll have one that works on a, well, it's an Intel, OBS is running in Intel mode or whatever, so it's an, as if it's a, just a normal Intel Mac. So I can run, mm. I can build it for Mac and uh, compile that bad boy and do all the stuffs and uh, put it in whatever folder plugins are supposed to go to and, you know, Bob's your uncle. Oh, my mm-hmm. God. That was not fucking easy. It was an absolute bollock. Um, there was lots of things that kept going wrong. I like, like how weirdly obsessed you became with it because well, it, it was like your, it, it was an obsession for you. And I'm still I'm still determined to make my own version of this image reaction plugin. Mm-hmm. Um because you know, I like to code. People might be like this. I'm shit at coding, but I like to code. And I like um like C++ seems like a proper hardcore type of programming language compared to stuff like JavaScript and Ruby and Python. Um, so yeah, I found that interesting. I was like, man, I'm I'm using OBS. Uh, I'm trying to be a content creator um, <laughs> and making videos for the YouTube, oh, our God. lord and lord and master, masters. So I was like, well, it'd be cool if I could make a plugin for OBS. Um, it's open source, the code's accessible, blah, blah, blah. And um, yeah, I did go down a rabbit hole. Um, and obviously, the result is that I was able to build these for Mac, Intel mm. Mac, or whatever. Um, it was I don't even know how, because it was a lot of trial and error. And then at some point I was like, oh my God, it built. I don't know why it built this time and not the hundred other times I tried. Um, and then the other problem was where you place plugins on Macs because it's not fucking simple. There's like multiple locations, multiple folders that you can put the plugins in. And then um, on my, I've got an older MacBook that's an Intel based, like normal CPU thing. Um, on that I was able just to take so these plugins they come in files that are called that are SO files um, I was able to just take those SO files for spectralizer and image reaction put it directly in 
the OBS plugins folder, uh, the application folder. You can open that up in the uh, Mac OS and go into contents. I think it's then plugins, resources plugins or something, and I could put it directly in there and it worked to my old Mac. Tried it on this one. I was like, nope. And I'm like, why is the <laughs> fuck is it not working? And I was like, is it because it's an ARM Mac? Is there something different? And then I found, just through looking through the code, this is not something you really want to find yourself doing, but looking through the code of a plugin in C++ um, and C, it's not even C++, I think it's mostly C, um, I found that there's like two or three locations that you can put plugins. So... There's one like on the hard drive, if you go to library and I think it's like application data, OBS, plugins, that you can put in your plugins, you can put your plugins there and that will be accessible to any user that uses that computer. You can also go into your local user folder and go to library, application data, OBS, and then plugins and put it there. And then it will be only accessible to you. The use your user, right? As it should be. But you can't just put the SO files directly in there. It doesn't work like that. You have to put in a folder named that um the same as the plugin SO file. And then within that folder you have two uh, two subfolders. One is bin. And then you have to put your SO folder in that. And then you can have a data folder as well, which I think um the plugins use that they they keep like localization stuff or whatever. I don't think that's important, but you definitely need to have a bin folder. And I found that doing that, making the bin folder and then putting the SO file in that within a folder named after the plugin, uh, show it uh, showed it up. And then um, I made sure to include the data folders that came with the downloads from. Um, the, the, when I downloaded the stuff from GitHub, there was a data folder for both. Each spectralizer and image reaction had a data folder. So I copied them in as well because I think the definitely for image reaction, it contained like the English, like the labels, the text for the labels in English or whatever window comes up when you change the settings or whatever. So yeah, that was... um. It was pure trial and error, and I swear, like, I've never, like, it just seems like uh, OBS in general, the community are like, Max, meh. <laughs> because a lot of the plugins are just uh, Windows and Linux. And I'm just like, ah, oh, a lot of, you know, People that have too much money and do creative shit have Macs. Um, how come they haven't compiled these for Macs? A lot of these plugins. So, yeah, that was uh, disconcerting. And like, look, I've got nothing against people who use Windows, but Windows sucks. <laughs> I've used Windows most of my life, and it it sucks for uh, programming. And I do a lot of programming. So like, having a Mac makes that a lot easier linux is probably better but you know i'm i'm too scared to go uh go cock and uh, just run linux so yeah it was a bit that was annoying i didn't want to have to use my old windows pc to run obs every time we tried we wanted to record something just so that i could use these plugins uh but yeah that's my story have i lost you <laughs> cook so no You've gone all so just quiet. Uh, I was looking at like my uh, Photoshop folder, thinking, "Oh, I still haven't finished that series of Nagatoro pictures yet, which I probably should do at some point." I've got um... one, two. That one shouldn't count. But I'll do it again anyway. Three, four, four left to do. Wait, five actually. Ah, but the fifth one is dead simple. I could just do that one in like five minutes. Well, you know, this has been pretty good, man. Mm. Um. Oh yeah, shit! I still need to make a border. I've um. <laughs> I need to make a border for like that goes around the the game play. It just goes around yeah. the entire thing. Yeah, just um, 
for Does that, it? you could look over overlays on online and see if you find anything you like. Yeah, because it will essentially be it will essentially be a picture with a big transparency in the middle. Yeah, and um, I I was planning to just make it myself, but I'll have a look online to get inspiration. Like I'm, you know how I went down the rabbit hole and said I'm going to make my own plugin, which I've still not done. Um, <laughs> I kind of want to do that for um, the border as well, even though it will be utterly crap. But it just uh, like I'm not doing this to win awards. I'm not going to. Never in my life gonna win awards in anything in life. So um But I I'm tell just... you what though, I want this. <laughs> I like this setup you've got of like the heads on one side of the other and the spectralizer going on both. I want this actually. Yeah, this is pretty cool. I might change the color one sec, I might change the color of mines. Green looks um really good. I'm not sure about this red though. Uh, if I make it a kind of light blue, let me see how that looks. Yeah, you know what? The light blue fits. Yeah, like I like, I like my purples and kind of bluish purples. <laughs> um, yeah, but yeah, do you know I'll do the mouth thing with my head. I'm gonna like I'll make a a version of my floating head that has mm -hmm. like a smile, and then oh yeah yeah yeah. A version where it's just like instead of green, just all white, like the mouth is open, and it'll be like yours. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you can simulate um, chatting. <laughs> it's it's so funny. <laughs> like when he like you're just like cute, cute little waifu, <laughs> <laughs> and the voice that comes out is like this ultra manly voice. I love it. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yotsuba's here in the house. I'm here to kick ass. What? I'm a woman. <laughs> um. <laughs> awesome. And we just uh, and we just pissed off all the uh, politically correct types. Uh, anyway, you know how. <laughs> so, may as well talk about it here. Um, when mm -hmm. you're thinking about uh, carrying on with uh, our most famous playlist of uh, Out of Full Boyfriend, Boyfriend, yeah, when do you want to continue that crazy raid? Oh, I wish I could do it anytime soon, but the next few days are pretty packed. Not least because on Wednesday fucking shifted all the work until later in the day because I bought tickets to watch Spider-Man straight up. Uh, don't spoil it for me. I'm planning to... I think I'm going to end up having to watch it next year. Early next year. Next year? Oh, man. Because um, I'm going to watch it with my bro. And uh, Oh, of course. But I have prioritised... The, the Matrix. Matrix. Yeah, so that... Well, I... Well, I'm not watching it when it comes out. I'm going to be watching it... Well, actually, I don't know when I'm going to be watching it. I need to make sure... Because, uh, again, I'm going to watch it with my with my bro. Mm, um, of course. So I need to get those tickets organised. But, yeah, also, um, so I, you said this I week haven't... you're going to be kind of busy. Yeah, but I will always always make time on friday for all sorts of nonsense because friday is my fun day fair enough um to be fair that will give me time so i'm off friday as well but actually mm -hmm. i need to need to take the car in to get serviced that's going to cost oh me god so. wait a minute i thought something i thought you already did a service or was no. that just you telling me your intention to I don't know if it was my, me telling you. I had it done earlier in the year, and I was like, oh, it's June, never service. I was like, wait, I had this done in like January. What the fuck? Um, <laughs> God damn, it's going to cost me a fortune as well. I really should just not get it serviced, but fuck it. I'm you know, it's anyway. real bad, right? You know, it's real bad. With my car, it's... Uh, I haven't changed the oil in forever. I haven't serviced it in forever because I haven't been using it that much during lockdown. Oh, but it's just going to... The oil's just going to sit there and... I feel that that's not a good thing either. It isn't. That's what I'm saying. It's not good. I have been using it more lately, but still, I haven't used it. Uh, there was a long period where it was just sort of sitting there, and even the battery died because it was just not being used. Ah, uh, that happened to me multiple times, man. 
Okay. Oh, hello. Um, impromptu. My mate has bought the same mate who you watched me play against the other day. Yep. In Guilty Gear. Yep. He has now bought Blaze Blue because Blaze Blue got an update for better online. All right. And he's just sent me a message saying he's ready. Tell me when I want to go. And I fucking uninstalled Blaze Blue the other day because I got pissed <laughs> off. <laughs> So uh, I'm just gonna quickly run a download <laughs> and get it installed. No problem. Um, yeah, I was thinking of le- ending it there because we are at the like one hour and fifteen minutes mark. Um, yes, but before before anything, I would like to finish my story. Ah, yes, yes. On you go. Hang on. Okay. So, um, where did I leave off? I said that Samsung, no, not Samsung, sorry, Vodafone were telling me about the engineers and that they were working on the signal in the area. And, well, you know, that's somewhat reasonable an explanation, but it took them fucking a month and a half before the supposed engineer fixed the problem. And even when I got the notification saying, hey, the signal in your area has been fixed, I still suffered the fucking intermittent disconnects. And I'm like, this is shit, man. What do I do now? You so roll your phone. There's been the all sorts of stuff. Do you know? I've completely forgotten the exact uh, timeline. But the good thing is, I have a fucking notes on it. And let me see. This document is five pages and sixteen hundred words. So here we are, 25th August, suffered intermittent signal loss, so on and so forth. Yeah, um, yeah. I tried to get, uh, uh, I followed their technical support advice, which, uh, which was like, change this setting, reset your network settings, change that setting. Eventually it came down to order a new SIM card and replace your old one. None of it worked. Absolutely none of it worked. And I kept having the problem where it's like my connection's good and then it'll just fucking die. And that doesn't seem that doesn't sound so bad, but trust me, it's like I can have my phone and I'll have like WhatsApp messages or something, but the moment I try to load maybe a YouTube video, all signal is cut. I lose my phone, I lose my mobile data, and it's all just gone. Uh So it's a nightmare scenario, man. Intermittent, yeah. an intermittent problem that they can't like replicate, and then they just make a million and one excuses. It's my nightmare scenario. Where the fuck is that letter they sent me today? I need to showcase that by the end of this, right? But anyway, because that has really pissed me off. Um, but yeah, basically, the um, it, it, this problem was real bad, and I kept phoning them and messaging them using their like web chat service saying you guys need to fix this i can't use my phone and this is an expensive contract and i can't use my phone anyway so photophone used to be better than this i had a sony phone with them many years ago and it got water damaged and I went to the Vodafone shop and I said, my phone's got water damage. And they took it and they gave me a really shit courtesy phone, which was Vodafone's like own brand of shit. But that was for like maybe four or five days. And then they called me up and said, your Sony phone's been fixed under warranty. And I went back and I got my phone and it worked perfectly fine. And I'm like, hey, that, you know, that's reasonable. That's good. I can count on Vodafone. They've got my back. Not this time. I got bounced around a lot between various different kinds of Indians on the phone saying, do this, do that. None of it worked. Eventually, what I did was, instead of phoning up and saying, I'd like to speak to technical support, I chose the option which said, I'm thinking of leaving you. Oh, pulling out the big guns. Well, I can't fucking use the phone, can I? And it's like, you know, fuck this contract. I'll go somewhere else. So I chose that. And then it got me connected to another technical advisor. But it's like a more advanced technical advisor or something. And this person said, your phone sounds like it's fucked. Let's actually have a look at it physically. 
And I'm like, finally, someone who's actually taking me seriously. So they booked me in for an appointment at my local Vodafone shop, which ain't that far from me because, you know, Westfield. Um, I went there and I dropped the phone off. Now, bear in mind my previous experience with my Sony phone. I went into the shop thinking something similar would happen. I'll give my phone over. I'll get a courtesy phone. And in five days, it will come back to me like a, like a new phone. Fixed. No problems. Happy times. No. I knew something was wrong immediately because I went to the shop and they're like, why are you here? And I'm like, I want my phone fixed. Oh, actually, I need to back up. Uh, previously, before any of this, uh, while I was still getting fucking like tossed around between different um, technical support teams uh, on different days, I went to the shop physically, actually, just, you know, with no appointment, saying, guys, my phone's fucked. What do I do? And the Vodafone shop said to me, oh, um, if your phone's wor not working, don't come to us. Samsung's upstairs. Because they are. They're, they're two floors above. And I'm like, yeah, but I bought the phone from you. You supplied me with this unit. So I should come to you because the warranty will be with you. And they're like, yeah, but Samsung is the manufacturer. And so... I'm like, Ugh. so I went to Samsung. They're up two floors up and they're like, yeah, we'll look into the phone. And they examined it and took it from me and said, here's your phone minus all the data that's on it. Mm. Ooh. Mm. And I'm like, that's six years worth of photographs, videos and porn on that. But OK, oh. never mind. Oh, God. <laughs> In a blink of an eye. I have backups, don't worry. The SD card, I was telling you. Anyway, uh, so that's gone, and I'm like, okay, fine. I've got my phone back, and I immediately lost the signal all over again. But this time, Samsung had provided me with an engineer's report saying, we've inspected your device and found no fault. It's perfectly fine. Now, this was a fucking red herring, but it, it was the basis of my arguments for months. I said to Sam, I, uh, sorry, I said to Vodafone, hey, assholes, Samsung looked at the phone and said, there's nothing wrong with it. That means this is on you, dipshits. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> I didn't literally say that, but, you know, I was really getting frustrated. Uh, especially since uh, work had started to pick up again. There was a large lull where there was almost, like, no work to do, besides a few bits here and there for some, like, major cases. But, like, small work just wasn't coming for some time because people are dirt fucking poor, and this country enjoys making poor people poorer. Mm. Right. Um, you and I have talked about how expensive legal services can be. Yes. Anyway, um, <laughs> so... Uh, but work had started picking up again, and we were getting a few, like, little minor bits here and there to do. So it's like, oh, shit, I actually need my phone again because for this work, I don't need to do a long Microsoft Teams meeting. I just need to make a phone call and that's it. Fuck. So it's like I need my phone again and it's not working. So I'm increasing in volume on the phone to them on Vodafone. Uh, bear in mind, actually, when I make a phone call, it doesn't actually cut halfway through. Or at least for the most part, it didn't until one time. Um, but yeah, so I, I, I got my phone booked in for a repair and Vodafone took it. And this, I should have known, was a sign of things to be shit. I walked into the shop and they're like, what are you here for? I'm like, I booked a repair. And they're like, we can't find you on the system. And I'm like, it's there. I booked it in or the person on the phone booked it in and it took them like 20 minutes and getting a manager before they could find me on the system. And then they found it and they're like, oh, here we go. Uh, give your phone, please. And back up your data. And I'm like, I've backed up my data four times already. I've gotten used to it now because this fucking phone doesn't have an SD card slot. So I can't just copy everything to that like I used to. I had to learn how to use ADB. And uh, now I've just uh, 
now I've um, basically just gotten on to not having pictures on my phone and just only backing up using like Samsung Cloud because that's the quickest way to migrate data between phones. And when I actually get a permanent solution, I will move all my shit onto that. Until then, until then, my phone is in minimalist mode. <laughs> and I don't like it. It's not the way I've run my phone for a decade now. I just dump all my trash in various unsorted folders into my phone. Honestly, navigating it is a pain. You won't be able to find half the shit on it half the time. It's like, I want this picture. Where is it? Okay, it's a reaction picture. Does that mean it's in reaction images? No, of course not. It's in download three, the folder which has all the pictures I downloaded in the year 2017, maybe. I don't know. Nice. It's extremely disorganized and by the way just because i have several download folders doesn't mean that they're uniformly equal in size like one might have 1000 pictures another will have 8000 wow and then i have two reddit folders one with 20000 one with 9000 i think uh i'm i'm just like i'm impressed with these numbers alone i don't <laughs> forget about it all guys i was like me i just have um like over the span of the last six years i have like a couple of hundred foes That's well the it. best part is the best part is i can't find anything when i actually want to send it <laughs> it's like oh in whatsApp, this picture would be perfect like maybe a kiss x this one where's it saved i don't know <laughs> you know what like, you should do needle in haystack need full to start force. adding tags i think no. i'm sure you can do that when you take an image, no. add a tag, give it a name, and the tag, and no, then you can no, the tags. no, I refuse. That's wait, wait. This is how people like uh, navigate the hub, right? You mate, need tags, mate. Do you know what adding tags to pictures is? It's work. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that <laughs> shit. <laughs> when I get a, when I save a picture on my phone. All I do is hit save picture. Dude. And whatever it's got, that's it. I don't give a shit. And I organize by date. See, some one thing I found, um, I've got a Pixel phone, right? Mm hmm And it does this, uh, it's kind of creepy now that I think about it. But you can Whoa. search for, like, car. And it will bring up pictures that I have that feature oh, the car. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, I've seen this, yeah. Uh, it can understand the context of a picture or the contents of a picture. Yeah, it, it, it just uses Google's AI to... Um, it's probably already tagged them on the phone or something when the photo was taken. Which, how, uh, long until, how long until Google actually has a face to represent itself? What the fuck? Was it? Well, I said Google, and then my phone just started like... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> They're always listening. Always oh, listening. <laughs> God, I remember when I first got Google Assistant and I thought it was the most useless thing. Now I actually use it because it is useful. But at the time, I was just taking the piss out of it and swearing at it. It's no, it's a, it's really good. Like, um, because yeah, I mean, I've not got the most um easy accent to, you know, easily <laughs> understood, understandable accent. And even then, it it does a great job. Like, I feel like it's just like almost talking to a person. Um, it has managed accents now. Yeah, yeah. I remember they, at the at, at first it couldn't, but now it can. They, because in the beginning they trained it on English, whatever the standard kind of US or um, maybe a bit of British oh. English. But like oh, bollocks, both ways. They use um, heavy duty AI now, and have made. I think they've made like data models that take in all accents, and it's able to. I think the <laughs> algorithm's now able to adapt a bit to your own accent because it asks you to get, say example phrases, so it takes mm -hmm. that into account as well. So yeah, they've just like the the last few years, things have just kind of like gone leaps and bounds in terms of um, how the technology can understand you. But yeah, like a lot of times I'll be like, you know, I've actually switched it off on this phone. I had it in my old phone. Uh, I didn't. I have not enabled Hey Google, but like um, I just be like Hey Google. Uh, when's mcdonald's open i need to get my fix um and it's like really good uh you know giving you the information that you're looking for 
don't use yeah. it in that sense. What I do is I'm like, Google, add a reminder. And then it'll get, pull up the reminder thing saying, what's your reminder? And I'll be like, I have an appointment with so-and-so at this time on, on such date. Please remind me two hours beforehand or something like that. Or like I have a major deadline. Please remind me three days beforehand. You know, stuff like that. Yeah, no, I use it for that as well. Um, and as, like, I, I usually I have a, a, an Amazon Alexa mm. that sits there and I'm just like, set a reminder for 7 p.m. for me to give a shit about life. And Honestly, um, I think I've heard your Alexa sometimes in the background just yeah. inadvertently activate. Yeah, it keeps doing that. It's kind of annoying, actually. Um, it's like, Bring. It's like, mate, I didn't even say anything near to your your name so fuck off um <laughs> nah she just wanted to chat i know she's getting lonely but you know i mean i understand <laughs> i get lonely but i'm not talking to you alexa right this is we're getting closer to that perfect ai future look once they've mastered ai in terms of having someone that sounds like a human right and uh, appears to have the intelligence of a human maybe it has the intelligence of a human but at least the appearance job done I don't need to talk mm. to people, man. I don't need a oh, life. I don't. I don't want it to have the appearance of a human. I will be that guy who just gets like an anime girl to be the the, the avatar, like a VTuber nowadays is. Yeah, but I'm saying like as long as it has the, like it feel it sounds like it's a human, like then to it's feel it, it's to you it seems like it has the intelligence of a person. Mm. Um, yeah, like I don't want it. It'll just be uncanny valley. See when they do like they try to do these kind of like humanoid robots, it's just creepy as fuck. Just oh god! Make like, them look like a, it... a robot from an eighties cartoon, man. Just do that. Job done. Or make it look like Johnny Five from Short Circuit. <laughs> Damn, man! Showing our age here, man. <laughs> well, I could just say Rob from Smash Brothers, but you know. But yeah, like, I mean. I was watching, I think I mentioned this to you before, I was watching um, a video on YouTube by the Healthy Gamer. He's like a psychologist stroke psychiatrist. Oh, no, I not, love that guy. He's, he's a psychiatrist, not a psychologist. Um, and he was talking about, like, he said, you know, people used to make fun of gamers. They used to be seen mm. as, like, like geeks and losers. It was, it was not a, a good thing. They were the outcasts, right? And now gaming has gotten so good and so accessible, everyone like a, a lot more people play it. Like it's a mainstream thing now, right? And you're seen as popular if you play games. It's it's seen. You're not necessarily going to be popular, but it's a popular thing to do, right? Not like um, when we used to. I used to watch anime back in the day, and and you know, cower in fear because I'm going to be like deemed a heretic by the. Or well, not like the days of school when the kids, the cool kids, would look at us and be like, hey, "Those kids play Final Fantasy." <laughs> <laughs> Why does that kid not talk to anyone? He's such a loser. I was like, "Well, if I showed you, I'm still a loser in my thirties." Yeah. Um, God, I remember there was this one girl who was like, and I'm not sure if and this just goes to show how fucking inexperienced I am. But like back in school. I was one of the dudes who played Final Fantasy. You know this. Mm -hmm. The girl came up to me and says, I heard you play Final Fantasy. I don't know which one. She was like, this one. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. She goes, don't you have to be really smart to play that? <laughs> what the fuck? I mean, I mean, first of all, first question, was she an attractive person? I actually don't remember. She was, <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? Like she, I think she was just like a typical normal girl. I mean, that's well, she didn't scare you. She didn't no, you off in any way. no, no. But like, it, it was, it was just weird. It's one of those things that I was not. Pre I'm not prepared for a lot of things. Yeah, yeah, and definitely no, not. Not any sort of girl saying, "Hey, this thing you're into makes you intelligent," right? Yeah, I mean, like, I didn't know how to respond. I'm, I'm a fucking grown ass man. I still don't know how to respond to that. Yeah, but... it's like the equivalent of some, if someone comes to me right in the dawn, they're like, like <laughs> someone I don't really talk to, I don't really know, and they're like, Do you like anime? <laughs> to be honest, uh... <laughs> my 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 fallback is I'm an I'm an, <laughs> I'm a weeb degenerate. <laughs> in fairness, I have had that recently where a guy I was talking with for work purposes me and him just sort of 
started having a long chat because he said to me, so what are you into? You strike me as a gamer. <laughs> Keep in mind, this guy is... I'm sorry, it, it's just... <laughs> just wait, 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 wait. Let me, let me fully explain. So this guy is a very large sort of obese man who is about... Who is a, uh, uh, shall we say, properly British... Well, actually, he says he's he's got Irish descent. He's an Irish descendant, but yeah. Um, just for work purposes, I was meeting with him, and he says, "So you strike me as a gamer?" And I'm like, "Yeah, I like my games. I I was playing. What was I playing at the time? Oh, I told him I was playing um, SMT five. Dude, we need to uh, Shin, Megami Ta- Shin Megami Tensei. Yes, 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 yes. Anyway, and and then we started talking about games because he's like, "Yeah, I've got." I've got a PlayStation 4. My sons have got the PlayStation 5. I don't have one yet, but I'd like to get one. And I'm like, yeah, cool. And then we start talking and he's like, he's a big gaming dude. Been playing since he was a boy. So, you know, longer than me because I've been playing since I was a boy. And he's older than I am. <laughs> so you do the maths. But, um, <laughs> but you know, he's like, I've had every PlayStation and my favorite game is The Last of Us 2. And I'm like, all right, cool. Um, Wait, The Last of Us 2? Yeah, the new one. And mm, I, I say new, I think it was like, was it last year or the year before? I don't even remember. Maybe COVID made COVID made time feel weird. Uh, but yeah, and I'm like, I've been playing since the old days. I played a lot of Final Fantasy. He's not into the Japanese games. I'm sorry to say. But... He's uh he likes stuff I like. Like he likes Assassin's Creed. He likes the um I mean I told him that we tried playing Last of Us because me and my brother did back when the first one came out. Though we never finished it because although we liked the game and we liked the way it played, it just didn't engage us. What dude, that game that game was great. I played that with my uh my best mate at the time mm. and I mean, to be, I say I played that. I sat back and watched him play it. Um, but I like this. I really like the story and the gameplay was really good and everything. Um, I've not played the second one just because, well, I don't see that mate that much. So, really, I need someone to sit. I, do you know what? Now I think about <laughs> it, I don't play games. I just watch people playing games. Right? Have you just realized this? Because I've <laughs> I've noticed this about you for a long time. <laughs> it's like the more I think about it, and I've, I never call myself a gamer, right? Um, I'm like a an I'm gamer adjacent. I, I just... used to call myself a gamer, and then it became a pejorative because quite a lot of the quote unquote gamers you see online tend to also be like right wing nut job angry incels, and I'm like, don't lump me in with them, please. To be fair, man, just being human. Yeah, you know, I'm I'm just I'm just a guy. You know, being human. And is unfortunate in a sense because you get lumped <laughs> with <laughs> humanity is kind of shit um, but yeah like yeah like I, I play games but I'm not a gamer gamer right you guys I think with you like you know you play about a blast blue right about guilty mm. gear some of these kind of oh more shit I've yeah that downloaded um, but like me dude I'm playing freaking phoenix right <laughs> I, I'm playing uh not even a game. I'm just watching VNs and um, doing some Professor Layton. I... All of that is all of that is valid. I don't count any of those as invalid to being a quote gamer because a gamer is someone who games, and a game can it's be just... any of those experiences. I mean, true if we want to, you know, be technical about it. But it's like, well, you know, when I got my first car, right now. I was driving a Nissan Micra, right? And I know was, that pain very well. Yes, well, at least you had the older... Like, I had the bubble version that looked like something from <laughs> the Jetsons, right? At least it was big enough to be useful. True, but it was the most unmanly car. And I, I didn't want a manly car, per se, but it was like... Uh, it, it was just cute and bubbly and it was like not no, um that's not me right but yeah um, it's like saying i have a car i'm a car man right i technically have a car i drive that car and i get pissed off at it when it breaks right just like any other person 
But as n- <laughs> I wouldn't really call myself a, a car, car guy. dude, right? Now, if yeah. you have, well, it doesn't even need to be a sporty car, but say you've got yourself an old um, MR2. Oh, it doesn't even need to be obscure, you know, that kind of like niche. But like, you know, you're doing the brakes, you kind of like, you service the car yourself and stuff like that. You know, you're a car guy, right? Um, I mean, I will tell you that my car does certainly turn some heads, and I've gotten comments from people about it. So, <laughs> dude, I never get comments from anyone. Do you know whatever I drive? It doesn't matter. Do you know if I drive a Ferrari? If I had a Ferrari for some reason, no, I bet you I wouldn't turn heads because my people God. just like one not what a knobhead, right? Driving well, a Ferrari. I mean, it's not a Ferrari. I like to just say, "Hey, I drive an old Toyota from 2003." That's my use. that's my disarming statement, and I let people just you know make their own uh, assumptions. But I do remember one time I went to, and this doesn't happen. This does not happen often. I don't represent clients in court myself often, but I did have to once. I remember, and I went to Oxford for it, uh, Oxford County Court. That dude, that sounds fancy as fuck. Well, I had to drive up there. And I'm just <laughs> so me parking up in my red ass fucking Sulika, and I step out in my suit, and I was wearing sunglasses because it was sunny at the time. Can I just pause you there, right? Yeah. Let's just let's just um, let's just like <laughs> focus on that. You race in, right? This is how I'm picturing this, right? I don't care whether it's the truth or not. Can I race in in this red? I will admit. Coupe. I will admit that I was. Uh, breaking traffic laws so red, yes <laughs> red coupe right you come out with sunglasses on looking badass do you know who you are you're edgeworth man didn't he come <laughs> didn't he you remember the anime didn't he roll in in a freaking red sports car i can do you one better i can tell you exactly what car it was it was, it was a past it was a mazda rx8 <laughs> was it oh yeah I remember, yeah. that, like, someone did a meme of that, or they took the rip out of that. I'm sure you sent me a link to that. Yeah, because uh, it shows Phoenix Wright, uh, Ryuichi Naruhodo, coming in on a fucking bicycle with a backpack on. <laughs> he, is the, he is a humble man, right? <laughs> hum- he cares humble for man the is one thing. No, no, no. Humble man is one thing. He looks like a fucking schoolboy in the show. I don't like it. He's My picture of him in the games is... He exudes manliness, even wait, as wait, wait. a newbie. Phoenix Ray? Hmm. Nah. Yeah, have you seen his confident pose when he stands in court? Yeah, um, but it like feels like bent. confident. Someone who's like, yeah, I did something great for once. Twice. But the, I don't know. But the thing is, right? The thing is, we are... As the as the uh, um, as the as the controller, as the gamer, shall we say, as the person controlling him, we are invited into his thoughts, and we can see him for the nervous wreck he is. But if you can, but if you examine him from the outside, and you don't look at, you don't see those thoughts, right? He appears as a confident man. He's sweating half the time, man. Sweating bricks. That's your internal view. It's but not what I'm saying. He has the physical. Thing. I'd look. I don't know. Look, 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 look. The fourth game in the series, Apollo Justice, right? Oh, I remember him in that game. Was he not a hobo? He was a hobo, but he was also a yeah, fucking confident, fucking scheming re- motherfucker. He was fucking. He was old man, like as in and he sandals. was sandals. He was. He had. He had basically had a career. Right, and and he um, spent seven years plotting his revenge on it. Can't even remember the story for that. He spent seven years plotting his revenge on the guy who got him thrown out of court. Sorry, not even thrown out of court. The guy who got him struck off. <laughs> Wait, how did he even get struck? Do you know? I for- I've forgotten the whole story. But oh, it was bullshit. It really was. I remember in the first game of the first, like the very first game, second case, like Edgeworth is known for giving fabricated and false evidence, right? At least wait, wait. early on he was. Did he do that knowingly, though? Uh, apparently. Very but, early on. Did he? Apparently. Maybe uh, it wasn't knowingly, no, but he it gave. Was, it Maybe was it wasn't. Boss, Look, it, was his, um, it was his no, um, uh, foster wait, dad wait, thing. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe it wasn't knowingly, right? But that's besides the point, because knowingly or unknowingly, Presenting false evidence is 
grounds for being struck off. Edgeworth never fucking got struck off, despite the fact that he had a reputation for giving false evidence. Now, in Phoenix Wright, no, sorry, in between the end of Phoenix Wright 3 and the beginning of Apollo Justice, the fourth game in the series, um, there was apparently a moment when Phoenix Wright unknowingly, and it is unknowingly, presented false evidence for the one time in his career and he gets struck off and becomes a hobo drinking grape juice and playing piano in a shit bar. <laughs> and I am not exaggerating any of that. That's it was not a shit bar, happened. man. It was a decent bar. I don't, I mean, I don't, go, I don't go bars, but... No, are you joking? It was called The Hideout with a Y. That's and cool. It was, <laughs> it was cool. That case is amazing, by the way. The first case of that game. Um... But yeah, it, he became a fucking hobo because he got struck off. And he spent seven years plotting his revenge on the guy who got him struck off. Wait, who is it that got him struck off? And a uh, previously unknown acquaintance slash friend of his who was also a defense lawyer but was what? actually evil or something. I don't know. You know, what? I need to play that game again or, or watch a playthrough of it because I've totally forgotten the story. But or or better yet, we could do a playthrough together. Oh, the, oh <laughs> one second. To imagine going through the Phoenix Wright games again. I would. Oh, I would do them and because be, they're good. That would be awesome. <laughs> like I, do you know? What? I think I told you. I was the one that told you about Phoenix Wright. You were. You were the ones who. You were the one who introduced us to the series, so, and my brother and I have forever remained grateful to you for that because it is one of our favorite series. It's literally the only time in my life that I feel like I have repaid you <laughs> for your for your friendship and your uh, advice uh, and, and gaming and the beauties of anime. Like, let I feel oh, like man. I feel like it's a very one sided relationship we have, right? <laughs> and um, there was that it's that one time that I'm living off the goodwill of that one nope. time where I introduced you to a good game. And do you know how I found it? It was you bought it by you bought it completely by random. Yeah, I remember was, you told me this <laughs> back in the day when people would go into shops and look at the um, the covers, the game covers. Holy shit, what a prehistoric era. I know, man. Seems like <laughs> like crazy. And um, I was like, I had a DS Lite. And I was like, I need to get a game oh, for this. A good one. Yeah. And I'm like, I like visual novel -y type games or adventure games. Basically, Even games... back then. Yeah. No, I've always been like that. Um, yeah. Yeah. And I saw it and I was like, oh, you're, a de you're like a lawyer detective thing right because you kind of do detective you, you 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 gather evidence for the case but you're effectively say kind of a detective. you are i mean it presents it like you're going around like a detective but you know that kind of investigation is not not um completely untrue i feel i mean i like detective games yeah um honestly i was like this looks this looks interesting and it has anime it wasn't mm -hmm. it's not anime anime but like it's like it's a cartoony so i'm like the at least the cover was on the, the somehow it looks better on a gba and ds screen than it than the anime looks on a tv yes and i'm like this looks like and and i used to take big chance i mean it was always a chance i go fuck i'm just gonna get this game this looks like the only game i'd probably play on the ds right now because actually I now like that ds. i think about it the ds was that kind of console because handheld console because i remember doing something similar uh, I picked up a few random games on it as well, including Time Hollow, which I have very vague memories of being of liking until the end when everything lost consequence. And not Trauma Center. Trauma Center is incredible, by the way. Though th that's also a great series. Um, not Trauma Center. There was another fucking Doctor Simulation game, but rather than focusing on you know the Doctor Simulation. It was like a weird visual novel of a slice of life of these doctors and nurses in a very Japanese hospital oh. and the kind of drama you'd expect of that. Like it, the game starts and immediately your main character is dreaming about falling into the boobs of the hot consultant or something. 
And <laughs> man, what the fuck game was that? I'd like yeah. to play that again. Yeah, what the, no seriously, what the fuck? <laughs> I need to find that game because I could show it to you and we could make a presentation out of it. I I don't remember what it was though. This is one of those games that I saw randomly as a child. I say child loosely, but yeah. <laughs> um also Elite Beat Agents and Os Tatakai Uendan, the Japanese originals. Those I, games are incredible as well. I played that. I played Elite Beat Agents because you told me about it, and yeah, that was that game is great. Some game um, that is a great game. But yeah, man, like um, now that the I think we're coming the Hatful Boyfriends. I think coming to a close. Um, Soon it seems like yeah. Yeah, there's def- definitely um, what I want to do is kind of like. Each time I do something, I kind of want to up my game a little bit. Like, the Hatiful Boyfriend has been the most kind of low-effort type of <laughs> recording because, like, we'll just record this and we just chat. And then I'm not, I'm not editing any of this. Fuck that. Uh, I'm just firing. I'm shitting it out to YouTube and having uh, basically me and you just look at it and no one else. So, like... um. The next thing I want to do after Hatful Boyfriend, I'm 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 planning. I'm hoping to put a little bit of thought, something a bit. I was thinking, um, shorter episode, something that can be in a shorter. I like the long form, right? But I do think um, it would be cool to do something a little bit shorter. Um, but that would uh, involve like editing and stuff like that. So, I know exactly what you mean. I'm thinking you want to do a highlights reel. So, like, something f- cut down from a lot. What I'm thinking of is what the Super Best Friends used to do, which was they used to do long-form playthroughs uh, where they just stream a game in episodes. So, like, episode one, episode two of... Um, I specifically remember Silent Hill Downpour, maybe? I don't remember exactly which one it was. Um, and then they would have a highlights reel, which was the best moments of their playthrough yeah i mean something like that though that's going to involve going through the whole of the videos. i, mean, I uh, mean that's what you'll do anyway if you need to edit you have to go through the videos and well, then make true edits. but i was thinking of um something new and um as in like not going through what we've done for a full boyfriend um and making it something that's a bit like you know how you're talking about doing short plays or kind of intro type things to certain things um, oh my thing is quite uh, my thing is a bit more specific than that mine is specifically the intro segments of games because i think it's very i think the intro of something is very interesting because it has to sell you on the whole thing otherwise you're not going to keep playing it true but yeah, like, do you know how that does lend itself to a shorter uh, video? I'll tell you. I'll tell you what uh, gave me the idea. Remember memory cards? Yes. Oh, <laughs> uh, those. I remember those things. <laughs> when I got a PS2 as a young lad, and I got Devil May Cry One, I didn't have a memory card. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did you so, did you just play that and you'd be like I can't I can't save I have to complete it all in one go? No, no, no. Although that is definitely possible, especially now when I'm much better than I was back then. Um but what I used to do is play the first three levels over and over again. Uh mainly because I couldn't save my progress, but also because like it took me some time the first few times. Like I didn't even know how to get past the first fucking room when I first played the game and spent hours in it. Uh, now I can do it in minutes. <laughs> even minutes is too long, to be fair. It's like, you know, seconds if you know what you're doing. You just have to collect 45 red orbs uh, and then open the door. Then you move to the next rooms, fight some... Uh, no, sorry, get the key, fight some dudes, go back, open the other door with the key, then go down to the basement, k- kill some dudes, go back up, kill some more dudes, go through the door, and you're done. That's level one. Level two, you go get your powerful sword, then you go fight some more dudes, get the shotgun, get like a wand or something, I can't remember what it was, kill some uh, floating scythe women, then go through the door with the spiders coming out of it, end level. 
Level three, run across a bridge, run back, bridge breaks, you go blow up some skulls, go back up, fight the spider monster, and level three. And, you know, that little segment there gets you a lot of what you're going to be doing in Devil May Cry. You're going to be solving a little bit of puzzles, you're going to be collecting orbs, you're going to be fighting dudes, and then there'll be bosses. Yeah, I mean, yeah, d definitely sounds, it sounds like a good idea. Like, I've seen a lot of that. Mm. So, uh, Jim, Jim Stephanie Starling, who I've been watching. Oh, for yes, years. yes. Uh, uh, he slash she, I'm, I'm they, not sure what, what, what they. they use. Uh, they, they, uh, they, um, do that very well. I was, I'd already been sold on Yakuza Zero by Giant Bomb. Uh, Giant Bomb were featuring Yakuza Zero quite extensively with various people playing them and finding the game entertaining engaging everything it is you know yakuza is amazing mm -hmm. uh later on i saw jim sterling had a video on it and it was also the same sort of thing where it's like here's a segment of the game much more like a quick look than what i'm thinking of which is just I, the intro i think they described it as those videos were were called squirty please at least Which I remember. Is, I think that's the name he uses. I think. Yeah, they I like use. Squirty. Squirty plays. Um, I watched a lot of um, a lot of their videos, and they don't do many now. It's more just um, the Jimquisition, which is the weekly one that they do. In fairness, is... that was always the major pull for me. Yeah, oh, it's. I've I've been following, following them for years, right? Still, I haven't been following working. a lot recently, but that's not because of them. That's just because I've fallen off gaming news quite a lot. It's, it's I, you know, it's tough. I don't man. follow Giant Bomb anymore. I don't follow Kotaku. I don't follow IGN, uh, GameStop. You know, all them lot. I just don't follow it that much anymore. It it's tough. Like um, the videos that um, that they do now that Jim Star Stephanie does. Mm. It's all oh, about. But I do still. I every now and then do catch a Jim Sterling's uh, 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 um, Jimquisition because I do love me some scathing narrative. Uh, it's, uh, dude. It's so, yeah. It's so, wow, it's Commentary. So, I watch every Monday night, and they're just like exposing the abs. And it's and, and and when you watch enough of of the videos, right? There's so much BS going on in the gaming industry. And it's yeah, like... whether it's yeah, whether it's stuff like um, Konami being shit or Activision. I think the latest things was something like uh, covering up sexual misconduct and rape like, and stuff like that. Yeah, like allegations of rape, sexual harassment, like Man. really bad sexual misconduct. And that's not just Activision; it was Ubisoft. I'm sure Ubisoft, Ubisoft as well. Alleged. Yeah, um, bloody hell, man! Was it Ubisoft? Oh, something Shamo or whatever as a CEO, right? Um, it's it's and then Crunch Time, which is an absolute like, and then um, micro transactions. Um, that's uh, what's been, Crunch Time. Crunch Time is when uh, developers are made to like work shit tons of overtime, so much so. Oh, it's oh, 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 oh! You mean Crunch? Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, I got you. I thought Crunch Time was like a feature name or something. No, Crunch Time is like Crunch is like the shortened <laughs> version of crunch time i think yeah um i get you but like it's fucking depressing right it's i mean and 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 it's good that they're kind of like continuously shining a podcast on it but i'm just like someone has to and i feel like the major areas major people just won't no they, they do just, and it, it's just like a lot of things they just don't say jack mm. shit and you're like people are genuinely suffering from this this is like fucked up this is seriously yeah. fucked up right why how are these people getting away with it? And then, I don't know. Like, it does actually annoy me. And I don't play games that much, but it does make me think, what the f what the fuck, right? Um, no, I agree. And I'm, gl I'm glad that Jim Sterling, if no one else, is standing up against the likes of Activision, Konami, um, Ubisoft, and whosoever else. Because someone has to. But, and... you know, that person ends up being a martyr. And that's the problem, mm. like... Um, I don't know. It's 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 not great, but like there's a lot of things that are not great. I don't want to to kind of like cut you off, but I've just realised we're hitting two hours. 
<laughs> oh god on this recording I and didn't i didn't even intend to go for this long and i haven't even finished my story yet <laughs> yeah um we'll just have to finish it another time i think we'll have to do you know what do you know what i will save it for another time mainly because i've lost the fucking letter they sent me today i need to find that uh we can keep the non-existent viewer who's watching this still uh waiting on uh they, they exist in our hearts. <laughs> yes, I <laughs> I just picture this one viewer <laughs> who is just like watching us and going, these people are not boring as fuck making super long videos um, <laughs> with a black screen and I've just got a couple of <laughs> avatars. <laughs> That's the low low effort, super low effort. Um, low effort. I, I consider these just archival. These are great. Uh, this is my legacy. Um, uh, oh, right, we'll leave it I there. I want this though. I want this layout for myself. The the uh, Yotsuba on the left, your face on the right, and the and the uh, the um, spectralizer bars. I want that. Right, what, I like that a lot. What we'll do is next time we're on, right? Um, we'll oh, come... I've just thought of something. Oh. If you inverted, if you uh, your spectralizer bars, if you clicked on them and translated them flipped horizontally horizontally let's see i don't know if i can do that let's see if you click on it right click uh there should be a flip horizontal under transform and then Wait, uh, they uh, will they will be mirrors of each other not ex not literally but my one Wait, can taps you do out the right and your one will tap out the left flip horizontally oh uh, yes oh uh Yes! Uh, and, now, and, now they are, and now they are inverted off each other. Nice. Um, but also, why is that last bar not doing anything? Oh, I don't know. Maybe our frequency just doesn't get that high. Uh, but, yeah, high. Uh, uh, you could just get rid of that last bar if you wanted to. No, every time I try and do it, the next last bar becomes the one that doesn't ever move. Then let's leave it. It's fine. It, it, it's, the, it's the bar... That will never move. Um, but yep. that is shit, man. This is this is pretty awesome. Mm. <laughs> oh, maybe I've just not done a lot of video stuff. I think I think you impressed. should I think you should actually give yourself some credit. This is a really sick layout. Like I'll, imagine this with some games in the background. Yeah, and the thing is you can do scene switching, so like mm. you can have this could have a placeholder image in the back and a, a placeholder background. And then we, I can just switch the scene and have like our heads and stuff and the, the spectralizer thing and the game playing in the background with a border. Like you can really um, mix it up so that like it reduces the amount of editing you'd have to do if you wanted to edit. Because um, you can do it all in the live recording. I think there'd still be quite a bit of like cutting and pasting to do when it comes to editing. Do you know what I wanted to do? Right. I was thinking that see when I had um, kind of cuts right where you jump either a, 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 a bit in time or i'm jumping from one to the other i wanted my head in the center of the screen and it's just like da -da 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 -da. <laughs> it comes out and goes back in like the batman the batman thing the old batman shows oh yeah i know what you mean <laughs> like, like the spinning transition yeah just like something cheesy as hell my face just oh, coming out man. Da -da 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 -da. and I, you can do that you can have, I'm pretty sure you can have transitions. Um, yeah. yeah, the transition is set to fade for uh, a normal one. Yeah, Hang so that that's, would be interesting to look into. But first things first, I want to make my own plugin. Um, well, let me see if I can get the dude playing uh, Blaze Blue. Because uh, he asked me, and I have it installed now. Right. Well, do you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to stop the recording now. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, um, next time we'll c probably continue how to full boyfriend and we'll see where we go from there. I would like to do that. I will also try to finish my story on the on what's happening with Vodafone and Samsung. Well, what's happening with Vodafone with my Samsung. So yeah, so look out for, I can't remember what episode we're on. Uh, uh, how to full boyfriend. Yeah, I think it might be because a couple of them haven't came out yet. Then I can't even tell you because I don't know. And 
I am on. Oh, that's why. Give me a second. I want this one. I want this one to go up sooner, though. The one that you've just recorded, because I want to see it. I want to see my uh, your new um, avatar. Yeah, I love this. This avatar is great. And also, I worked for it. So that makes it more special to me. One second. If I check here, if I check here, um, da, 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 customize the channel. So many steps. Where are my videos? Um, right. So it will be episode 14. So we'll continue the story in episode 14. Episode 13 is due to come out uh, tomorrow. Mm. So, um, but there'll probably be a bit of a gap between that and us uh, recording episode 14. Uh, damn it. What? The gap. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, the gap, I wish. The gap yeah. is whatever, but like, um, I'll get this up at some point in between. Yeah. That. I can't wait. Uh, cool. Right. Well, uh, goodbye from Ashman. And uh, later from me. Right. See you guys later.